Jose Chavez y Chavez was born in 1851 in Cebolita, New Mexico. Little to no information exists about his childhood. It's been reported that he briefly worked as a laborer, but discovered that honest labor didn't pay much and was difficult. In his teens, he gradually turned to crime, including petty theft and slowly graduating to cattle and horse wrestling. In his 20s, Chavez traveled to the Lincoln County area of New Mexico, where he met Billy the Kid and the other regulators. He decided to join the range war going on between the Tunstall McSween group fighting against the Dolan faction. Having already committed a number of small robberies and other crimes, he would prove useful to Billy the Kid's gang. Together with Billy and the rest of the regulators, Chavez took part in the Lincoln County War that lasted from 1878 to 1879. Inside the Tunstall McSween faction, another group of battle-hardened warriors was formed to try to give the faction an edge over the Dolans. The Regulators, as they were known, were 45 gunfighters that included Chavez. At one point in his tenure as a member of the Regulators, he became good friends with Billy and Jim French. On February 18, 1878, the ruthless battle took a bloody turn when John Tunstall was shot and murdered by a small contingent of the Dolan crew. On April 1st of the same year, Lincoln Sheriff William Brady, a Dolan backer, was killed by Billy the Kid's gang. According to Chavez, he was the one responsible for Brady's death. Eventually, more killings from both sides followed, culminating in the burning of the McSween home on July 19, 1878. Fourteen people lived at the house, including McSween and his wife, as well as twelve cowboys. Six people died in the fire, including McSween, but every member of Billy the Kid's gang was able to escape. This event began the unofficial end of the Lincoln County War. Be sure to subscribe now so you don't miss the new episode. Several months later, starting in the spring of 1879, New Mexico Governor Lew Wallace began a fight against crime in the territory and one of his top priorities was stopping the ongoing war between the Dolans and the Tunstall McSween backers. With this in mind, Wallace formed the Lincoln County Mounted Rifles, a group of which Chavez became a member as a private. However, the Mounted Rifles failed in their main purpose, and the group lasted only about three months a period during which Chavez remained with Billy the Kid's gang. After Billy's death in 1881, Chavez became a drifter, traveling across the American Southwest, sometimes without any particular destination in mind. He did arrive at Las Vegas, New Mexico, in time to meet Bob Ford, the killer of Jesse James. According to legend, the two had agreed to a shooting contest. Ford was so impressed with Chavez's shooting abilities that he fled immediately after he was asked to have a duel against Chavez. Chavez eventually became a deputy sheriff, but he was allegedly not able to leave his life as an outlaw. He became friends with Vincente Silva and joined Silva's two gangs, including Las Goras Blancas, the Whitecaps, 
becoming a hired gun and assassin for Silva. Chavez became close with two men in Silva's gang, Eugenio Alared and Julian Trujillo. Together they murdered Patricio Maez by hanging in October 1892. And several months later, in February 1893, Silva ordered the murder of Gabriel Sandoval. But after losing faith in Silva's mental state, the trio killed Silva as well. All of these events culminated in the following year, 1894, when a man was arrested for the Maze murder and implicated the three gang members Chavez, Alared, and Trujillo in the murder of Gabriel Sandoval. In April 1894, Alared and Trujillo were both captured, arrested, and sentenced to life in prison for the murder. Chavez, however, became aware of the arrests and became a fugitive, with a $500 bounty on his head. After a month on the run, he was eventually arrested in May 1894 in Sicaro, New Mexico. A jury found him guilty, and he was sentenced to death by hanging. Chavez was granted a retrial by the Territorial Supreme Court, and was yet again handed the death sentence. This decision was later overturned by Governor Otero, who felt compelled to commute Chavez's sentence to life in prison instead, given the publicity that his case had garnered, and the public's pressure towards the government to spare his life at the time. On November 23, 1897, four years after the murder of Gabriel Sandoval, a bitter Jose Chavez y Chavez entered the territorial penitentiary as inmate number 1089, where he remained until the age of 57. In January 1909, at the age of 57, Governor George Curry pardoned Chavez after serving only 11 years. The pardon was the result of his assistance he had given to prison guards during a riot. After being released from prison, he returned to Las Vegas, New Mexico where he spent the remaining 15 years of his life among his friends and led a relatively quiet life. At the age of 72, Jose Chavez died peacefully in his bed by the side of his friend, Liberato Baca. Baca was possibly the only man to face Chavez in a gunfight and live to tell about it. His resting place is at a small cemetery in Milagro, Guadalupe County, New Mexico. Thanks so much for watching today. I hope you found some value here. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss that new episode.